Yeah, okay. Well, I'm uh, okay. We've gotten to the part of the discussion where I'm afraid we <coughs> we have to talk about consciousness. No, I'm I, afraid so. I always prefer to avoid this because you can you can talk about it for a long time without making any progress. It's that kind of subject. But uh, since we do disagree about it, maybe we'll we'll generate heat if not light. Mm -hmm. um, and w what you've just alluded to, uh, you just um, kind of called me a, a Mysterian. Uh, and in any event, you called me that in your last book, so mm. so so it's an official uh, yeah, it's yeah. an official allegation, yeah. which I actually uh, don't really deny. I mean, a mysterian in this context, uh, at least as I understand it, is somebody who believes that consciousness is really mysterious. Now, first of all, by consciousness, I, I think we both mean basically sentience, subjective experience. So if I say I feel pain, that was the mm -hmm. feeling was part of consciousness. I see the color blue, that seeing, the yep. experience of seeing that. And similarly, if you say, I think lizards feel pain, then you're attributing consciousness to lizards, okay? Yeah. Um, I do believe it's mysterious in a, in a couple of, of senses. There, there, there are, although I think science can tell us a lot about it, um, I think there are some fundamental questions about it that science may uh, never answer. Um, you... Uh, you think consciousness is more like just a puzzle. There are pieces to be worked out, detail, details yeah, to be yeah. worked out, but we get the big picture. Now, let me, um, let me try to characterize your, what you mean by consciousness, and you stop me when I start getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I think you know where that will be. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, uh, okay. You believe that the consciousness is a brain state, or is the brain, or is the state of the brain. Uh, and you don't just mean consciousness can be explained in terms of the state of the brain. Um, I mean, I, I, I believe that, or at least I assume that. I don't really know what to think about consciousness. But I, 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 it's certainly plausible to me that whenever I feel pain, you could point to the part of the brain that's causing that feeling. Whenever I see something, you could... So that I could map my consciousness one-to-one -one onto my brain functioning. Okay, but that's not all you mean. When you say consciousness is the brain, you don't just mean consciousness is explicable in terms of the brain, right? You, you um, uh, I mean, one, one way you commonly hear this is, uh, in other words, you're not just saying that, that well, let me stop there. Have, have, I gotten, have I gotten it right so far? Um, actually, you've, you've, you've put it in a slightly more extreme form than, than I myself would. All, uh, that is, a, uh, that is a, uh, a, uh, a more simplified materialism than my own. Um, when I say that um, uh, uh, my favorite metaphor these days is the fame in the brain or cerebral celebrity theory, it's, that is that what, what consciousness is is the relative political influence or fame of structures in the brain that uh, win out in competition against rival structures for domination of the brain's activities in various ways. That's putting it uh, uh, very programmatically. But basically it's saying that in your head there's a sort of turmoil going on, the pandemonium, and there's many different contentful events vying for king of the mountain. Okay. Vying for control, okay. and the ones that win, and the, by default, something always wins <laughs> uh, when you're when you're awake, and that's what you're conscious of. And it's not that when it wins, then consciousness happens, or it you know it kindles some further thing that's conscious. That's just what consciousness is. It's not as if an extra process has to happen. Winning, that's it, and then the next one that wins, then it's conscious. So, for instance, a robot that instantiated this sort of competition in its brain would be conscious. Um, Absolutely. Well, but we can build robots now that do these kinds of things, that have competition among theories about the world. Are you saying they're conscious? Um, they're, they have the right sort of competitive structure. But there isn't the complexity there. I suppose in a little way they're conscious, but, but, but not in a very interesting way. It's the right sort of thing. So yeah. there may be conscious computers right now, according to your view. There, there, you say you suppose there no. are, so there probably are conscious computers. In, in the sense that extremely rudimentary 
versions of the architecture that I say consciousness is exists. That's true. Well, but, but, in the sense that, but that, I mean, you're saying it's true. Then I mean, you're yeah. saying according to your conception of what consciousness is, there are now conscious machines in the world. Except that I, when I talk about consciousness, first of all, I talk about human consciousness, and I think human consciousness is very different from all other animal consciousness, sure. and the the level of complexity, just the just the informational uh, right. breadth right. of of the architecture uh, uh, of human consciousness is enormous, and a a toy model of that. Mm -hmm because it's a toy model, in a certain sense, isn't really an instantiation of consciousness. Mm -hmm. But if, if it could be scaled up, the answer would be yes. If it could be scaled up, but yeah. It hasn't, then, but it hasn't been scaled up. So, no, it hasn't. So there aren't conscious right. computers. There aren't right now. You're sure but there that. could be. That, th this leads yeah, there to really th could be, yes. Sure. There may be. Sure, in the future. Oh. See, I, I, I mean, I'm sure there aren't now because I know the state of robotics research and mm -hmm. I know the state of AI research. But and the, and uh, some people are on the right track, and you know, give them give them enough money and time, and yeah, there will be okay. conscious robots. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't rule yeah. out the possibility. And let me say yeah. that uh, you're th this this idea of com kind of competing, uh, you know, competition within the brain and the winner uh, mm -hmm. is conscious. I, I would certainly. Uh, uh, agree that that could be the way that uh, consciousness is shaped. But I would say that's the way the brain generates consciousness, and I think you would object to that. Yeah, it's, the, it, it's it, that last it, step yeah. where you have to turn on the right. magic projector and have this extra state created somewhere else. That's no, it's what not we created don't... somewhere else, it's created in the brain. Well, but, 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 but it's different from, I mean, yeah. let, let me... Um, See, that's, that's where you're asking for there to be an extra shine or something that just doesn't need to okay, exist. Okay, well, uh, we should bring in another term to make clear what you're not. Uh, uh, it, the term is epiphenomenalist. An epiphenomenalist view of consciousness is that consciousness is generated by the brain, uh, so the brain influences consciousness, but consciousness does not in turn influence anything. the brain. So it's anything. Like, doesn't anything. Anything. Right. right. But it, it, and that is one of the, I mean, to this day, I, I am flabbergasted that anybody takes this view seriously. Right. That's not your view. And, it and, certainly and let me isn't. just go on. I mean, epiphenomenalism is like... It's insane. So consciousness is to the brain the way a shadow is to my no. hands as I move no. my hand. No. No. No, that's what epiphenomenalism is. Ah, thank you. That's what people think epiphenomenalism is, and it's not. Your shadow is perfectly visible. You can rec it, it has lots of effects well, okay, in the that, world. That part breaks down. It has lots of effects in the world. There's a perfectly right. innocent I, I notion of epiphenomenalism. I understand that, but, but as my hand moves along, the shadow does not in turn affect my hand. It's a, it's, I mean, you see, it is a limited yeah. analogy, but the point is, it is consciousness a, it is, is a limited and very influenced by the brain, but does not in turn influence the brain. That is epiphenomenalism. Well, but... And you are not an epiphenomenalist. Right, because that because right, right. because epiphenomenalism is exactly as absurd as the following view. Are you ready? Okay. Um, in every cylinder of every internal combustion engine, there are seven epiphenomenal gremlins. They're caused by the action of the cylinder. They cause nothing in turn. They are undetectable by any machine, by any test. There couldn't be a gremlinometer. Mm -hmm. They don't add to the horsepower. They don't add to the weight. They don't add to the mass. They are completely so epiphenomenal. What bothers you is that, that in this view, in the epiphenomenalist view, consciousness cannot be detected.